camera's on, lights are up, stepping back, lights, camera, let's go. Yeah man, yeah man, yeah man, yeah man, yeah man. What's up guys, it's your boy John and I'm doing something quite different today compared to my previous videos. As you can see, I'm finally going to talk to you guys about important things and some things that are going on right now. So without further ado, let's get right to the topic. The topic of today is something that I've been wanting to talk to you guys for the past couple of months now. And as a recent graduate, the topic of today is... Drum roll please! Hmm, very convenient, I guess. Anyway, the topic of today's video is... High school. Now I know what you're thinking when you hear the word high school. High school was so lame. Four years of high school have really changed my life from freshman year to graduation. I made no friends in high school. I was in a bad relationship! <laughs> what happened in high school? I love pie. Yeah, that's what I would mostly hear when it comes to high school. Except for the pie part, I just put that in. So why did I bring up high school? For three reasons. Number one, I graduated from high school. Number two, this time around is the beginning of school for most students. And number three is that I want to share you guys my experience of high school and give you some advice and tips of how to survive in high school. So without further ado, I said that already. The first topic of high school that we're going to talk about is, of course, the first year of high school, which is... Freshman. Incoming freshman, I just want to say, welcome to high school. Give yourselves a round of applause. We're done, okay. Oh, freshman, freshman, freshman. The one year where upperclassmen would pick on freshmen and say, Fresh meat, fresh meat. <laughs> freshman. Go home, freshman. <laughs> yeah, that's what all freshmen would hear when they go to high school. Not to be disrespectful, but that's true. All freshmen get treated like that. When I was a freshman, I was very lost in the first day of high school. I know coming off from 8th grade being the top dog, valedictorian, and the most popular kid in school, it is hard to go around high school since now you're at the bottom of the food chain. I was like that too. Most of my friends from 8th grade moved away to different high schools and to me, I was very desperate to make new friends. Even though I was at the bottom of the food chain, I was still trying to get used to the environment of how high school life is. But just only the first year of high school, I was trying to make a home for myself and trying to feel comfortable. Maybe probably around two weeks or a month later, I got used to the environment and was thinking that I'm home. I feel comfortable now. Now it's time to make more friends. And luckily for me, I made many friends by the end of freshman year and it was like the happiest year of my life. Freshman year was also the time that I got to spend more time in events, Friday night football games, homecoming, and Sadie's. And if you're thinking about prom right away, don't even think about it. Freshmen are not allowed to go to prom. Freshman year is also a perfect time to get involved in clubs, sports activities, and other activities that the school has to offer. For me, I joined basketball and track, and it was really fun. As you may know, during freshman year is also the year that I started YouTube. And if you check my previous videos or even my first video on that channel, it's all sea walking, and nobody does that anymore. Yeah, nobody does that anymore. Overall, freshman year was very exciting for me and very interesting because I got into the feel of being a high school student and also making friends outside of my old school. But don't worry, I got in touch with my eighth grade friends and we're all good, we're all good. And as they say, time flies by really fast and you may never know what happened. My advice to you incoming freshmen is to just be yourself. Just ignore the upperclassmen and calling you names or saying that freshmen are not allowed to be in their territory because you may hear that all the time too. But overall, as a new student at a new school, you just have to get involved in many activities and also get comfortable making friends and also be very comfortable of who you hang out and what clubs or sports activities you want to get involved in. Or maybe during the year or the last day of freshman year, you can reminisce about the memories and you can say freshman year was the best year of high school. Now to go on to the more stressful part of high school, which is... Sophomore. Ah oh, yes, sophomore year. Many students have pride now over the freshmen because they are no longer freshmen anymore. They're no longer little brats and they can also pick on freshmen now. Yep, it's true. Sophomores pick on freshmen all the time, like I said. Sophomore year to me was kind of something that was very difficult to go through. Because when I registered for classes in freshman year, I registered for many honor classes and even AP classes. I thought coming up for freshman year, it's going to be an easy A for me during sophomore year. But the following summer was very bad for me because I had to do a lot of the summer assignments, including honors and AP courses. When the first day of sophomore year approached, I was very nervous. I mean, really nervous. 
because since I did all the summer assignments, I was still stressful of how the sophomore year would turn out to be. As months went by, I was very stressed out on the large amount of work that our teachers gave us. Even though we're at a lower class in high school, we're still getting pushed on. With the amount of work I've been getting, I had to make a commitment to take a break from all the activities I was involved in. The first semester was total hell for me, because looking back at freshman year, I thought it was going to be the same, but the expectations turned into a bad reality as it turned into a total hell. Luckily, in the second semester, I finally redeemed myself and did very well. I was able to get back into the activities I was involved in and fair enough I got a high GPA in the second semester. At the end of sophomore year I noticed that it taught me a lesson to never give up and feel dedicated about your work. Do not slack off, don't procrastinate, and as long as you get into the flow you'll feel fine because you will notice teachers are pushing you because they're also preparing you for college and as they say time flies by really fast and you may never know what happened. I said that already and it's starting to piss me off. My advice to you sophomores is to never give up. Be motivated about your work during sophomore year before you become a junior. Cause sophomore year is a big test to prove how much you've learned and also how much you wanna move up and become an upperclassman. Never doubt, be yourself, be happy, feel proud. And do not have too much pride about yourself now that you're not freshman anymore. Be a role model to them and try not to pick on them. Speaking of stressful, I'm having a hard time with the sophomores, good thing I'm done. But now let's move on to upperclassmen starting with Juniors. You made it, incoming juniors. You made it. You made it to be an upperclassman. Give yourselves three hands. Three years, three round of applause. So how does it feel to be an upperclassman? I'll tell you right now. It's kind of fun, but at the end of junior year, it gets really tough. Let me go right into first semester, which I always do. My first day of junior year was very exciting because now I have the freedom to be an upperclassman. Me and my friends thought junior year is gonna go by so fast. First semester, it was probably one of the fun semesters I have ever had in high school. Because first you get to experience of what's life being an upperclassman. Second, you're one step closer to becoming a senior. And third, you wanna be equal. Even though being one step closer to senior year doesn't mean you have to be equal, it's just you still need to be yourself. By the end of the first semester of junior year, it was also that time where the world is coming to an end. That's right, December 21st, 2012. Do you remember that? It was that stupid rumor that people think that the world's gonna end. It was no big deal, the Mayans were just trying to scare us. No, it's true, the Mayans are an ancient civilization and I know that they are positively right. Dude, it's not gonna happen, are you crazy? When that day came, I thought people were gonna be hiding in barricades and even in bomb shelters to protect themselves. But as midnight struck that day, I was completely laughing inside of me. Because if I laugh hysterically, then you know I'm the crazy one. Now I'm getting off topic, where was I? Oh yeah, I was going to second semester of junior year. Second semester of junior year was something that I could say is completely dangerous. That's right, SATs and ACTs. It's coming right at you right away. There's no backing up. You have to take the test in order for you to go to a good college. Now during that time period, the stress was coming back to me because it really blocked my time doing my homework, practicing for any sports events or club activities. Then I would have late night study sessions, which I really hated. It was very convenient to me to know the basic ways of passing an ACT or an SAT. Because you may think studying at home is a big distraction. Well, it isn't. Unless your parents come by your room and ask. Are you studying enough? Yes, mom. Are you studying enough? Yes, mom. Are you studying enough? Yes, I'm studying, mom. Are you studying enough? Yes, mom, I'm studying. Okay, just making sure. Bye bye. Wow. So, yeah, home studying was very helpful to me compared to having night sessions. Cause you know when you drive home, you're very sleepy compared to when you are home, you're on the bed. So you can just sleep on there. But as months went by, I did very well in my SAT and I was waiting to get into good colleges as I applied for college later in senior year. I just had to say to myself that I can't back down right now. I have to stay motivated unless I want to be a successful student. And by the end of junior year, I did very well. It's probably like the best year of high school for me. Academic life. I actually got a higher GPA compared to freshman and sophomore year, so it was all good. I know I said this many times, but I'm just gonna say it anyway. As they say, bro, time we flies. already know what you're gonna say. Looks like someone is that harsh. So anyway, here's my advice. My advice to you, juniors, is to be yourself. I don't know how many times I said that, but it's starting to piss me off again. 
Even though college is coming around soon, you just have to stay focused on your work, be motivated, have a little dedication in yourself. Be happy that you're an upperclassman now and finally getting into the mood of being a senior, close to a senior. You guys are growing up and I can tell you, if you do well, you'll be one step closer to the senior year. One step. And for those of you who are starting to drive before their junior year, drive safely, all right? And now, the moment that you all have been waiting for. It is time for three, two, one. Yo, why are you wearing my cap and gown? Uh, I, I was... The... Take it off! Okay, I'll take it off. Ah uh, yes, senior year. Senior year. For you incoming seniors, I just want to say welcome to your last year of high school. Give yourselves a big round of applause, even a cheer. <laughs> yeah. Almost there, seniors. We're almost there. Ah. Alright. It has finally come. The glory of senior year. The freedom to do anything I want. So much pride. Yeah, enough of that. For those seniors who think it's gonna be exciting and also easy to get passed through, <laughs> well, think again. It's your final year of high school, seniors, and for the last time, I'm gonna share what I had to do. Senior year was the perfect time to go all out. All out on activities, events, and even sports. First with the events, you get a chance to go to homecoming, mother-son dance, father-daughter dance, Sadie's, and even prom. I forgot to mention prom in junior year, but you guys can go. For sports, go all out on everything, all right? Seniors love to get involved in many activities, especially that's the last time to be in high school, and that's the last time to be with your friends. Just do it, all right? Anyway, enough about the fun part. Here comes the serious part. Like I said, senior year is gonna be very hard for you to pass, unless you do well in college applications, too. After receiving your SAT or an ACT score, now is the time to apply for college. I mean, it's up to you. You can apply for many colleges if you want but it really depends on how your information is in college applications and how you apply for college as well. In order for you to go to a good college you need a perfect resume too about yourself. For me college applications was very hard to do but I got in the mood swing of it same as the SAT. Fair enough I got everything completed before Thanksgiving and I was very happy. Fair enough I got a few acceptance letters I was very proud and about the rejection letters I don't want to elaborate on that. I mean there's dream come trues and heartbroken thoughts about which college you wanted to go to. But in the end you can say that you tried your best. Just feel comfortable which college you got accepted to. When second semester started that was that one period that most seniors wanted to get passed through because you know why? Why? Because second semester is the turning hell of every senior student which is senioritis. Now a lot of seniors think that senioritis is just a joke, it's not going to get to them, but few seniors think it is. Thinking about it, you think it's going to affect you, but hopefully it doesn't affect me either. But as a result, some seniors got involved in senioritis. They started to do terrible in classes, they started to procrastinate, they never do their homework, and it was all the thought that they're going to college after they got their acceptance letters. For me, even though I got accepted to a few colleges, I thought to myself that I still have to work hard, I have to stay dedicated, and I cannot procrastinate or F things up. I needed those credits to graduate. Five months into the book, I didn't want to fail my final exam either. But at the end, we did it. It was our last year of high school, we finally did it. We got all our final exams completed, we passed all of them, and we all graduated. I was very happy that high school is over. I graduated, I celebrated with my friends, and also with my family members. Overall senior year was something I will never forget. Right now I just miss my friends, my crew, and all those who have school right now. Well, I'm gonna say this one more time and hope not to get bothered. As they say, time well, flies that by. Phrase never gets old. Shut up! I want to say it. If it bothers me that much, I still want to say it. And would you please take off my gown? Fine. If that's gonna make you happy, you don't have to be that harsh. And as they say, time flies by really fast, and you may never know what happened. <sighs> okay, I'm tired of that phrase. I'm sorry. Just to make it short, my advice to you seniors, don't f up. And I'm just playing, but seriously, my advice to you seniors is to just do your work.
all right? I mean, yes, you can still be happy that it's your last year of high school, but do not screw things up, all right? Because once you do the work, you can celebrate, you can graduate, and then you can celebrate. Well, that's all the tips I have to say to you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope these tips really helped you that much and my experience too. So if this video really helps you a lot to get past high school, like, share, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if this video didn't really help you that much, I'll still love you guys. I still appreciate you getting a chance to watch my video. Well, that's all I have to say in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. And before you go, I have three announcements to make. Announcement number one. The summer and the whole year of 2014 has really changed who I am and it has been a memorable year for me. And since most of my previous videos have been singing and rapping covers, as a gift, I have made a mixtape. It's called Cool. It's called Cool Mixtape by me. You guys can go check it out. If you press this one right here, it gives you access to download my music and all the music that I've been working on ever since I started YouTube. So I hope you guys download the mixtape. Hopefully leave some positive feedback about my mixtape and thank you guys for sticking around and enjoy the mixtape. Announcement number two. Since today's video topic is dealing with high school, I also made a video vlog right here. It will get you to another link. It's called Grad Week Vlog. This is basically a video of Grad Week and the highlights of all the fun and special moments I spent with my friends for the last time in high school. So I hope you guys click this and check it out and hope you enjoy it. So now you're wondering why I'm giving you all these announcements and that is announcement number three. YouTube has really changed my life for me as a person through the last four years. And I just wanna thank you guys for sticking around and supporting me on all my videos and having all these memories come true. And the reason why I'm saying thank you to you guys is that I'm taking a break from YouTube. I don't know how long I'm gonna be gone, but it's for a perfect reason. And that's also the reason why I brought up high school is that I'm gonna continue more of my studies in college. No, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time going on YouTube and also posting random things of what's going on, but it's for the best of me. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos for the last four years, and I hope you guys can help me get more views on my video and also getting some subscribers while I'm away. So with that note, I'm not gonna post any videos for now and later. I may be temporarily gone, but if it's permanent, then there it is. I may be gone forever. My YouTube channel is still gonna be alive just for you guys to watch, so help me get views and also get subscribers. You guys have been amazing people liking and sharing with your family members and also commenting on my videos with positive and negative feedbacks. My journey ends right here for now, and who knows, I may be back for more. You guys have been amazing. I love you guys. And with that, for the last time, I'm out. Peace. So thank you guys once again for a magnificent four years of YouTube. You guys really have changed my life. And before I depart on my journey, I want to say thank you to everybody who stuck around and made this dream all possible. So I thank you guys. And if you want to see my previous video, click the link right there. Or just click the video right there. And see you guys. I'll miss you. Peace.